Good morning. It's Tuesday and it's time for our devotion together. We're walking through chapter 3 of Colossians this week. Uh, yesterday we heard, since then you have been raised with Christ. And, and today, uh, today we begin uh, a section that we'll really read in two days, today and tomorrow. Today we're putting to death and tomorrow we're uh, clothing ourselves. Uh, and uh, so let's, uh, in light of being raised with Christ. Right, so uh, Paul writes, um, this is verse 5, Put to death, therefore, whatever belongs to your earthly nature, sexual immorality, impurity, lust, evil desires, and greed, which is idolatry. Because of these, the wrath of God is coming. You used to walk in these ways, in the life you once lived, but now you must also rid yourselves of all such things as these, anger, rage, malice, slander, filthy language from your lips. Do not lie to each other, since you have taken off your old self with its practices, and have put on the new self, which is being renewed in knowledge in the image of its creator. Here there is no Gentile or Jew, circumcised or uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave or free, but Christ is all and is in all. <clears throat> Again, right? What is this, the t tenth time? Uh, we're barely, we're probably, probably halfway through, maybe a little more than halfway through the letter. We hear something like Christ is all and in all. Paul just keeps coming back to that as the basis of everything, right? And there, but and there's so much in this passage. There's, uh, there's a lot. Like, what are we putting together? What do all those things mean? Some of them are actions. Some of them are attitudes. Uh, and. <clears throat> some of them we care deeply about, some of them we like to sweep under the rug and everybody's different on which ones, right? But then there's this, uh, uh, here there is no Gentile or Jew, and we have some duples, really, right? Some, uh, you know, this or that, this or that, this or that. And what does that mean? What does it mean that those differentiations uh, aren't existent? I, I would uh, guess that here means in Jesus's kingdom, right? Christ's kingdom. Uh, so what does that mean? And then Christ is all and in all. And then how does that apply uh, to how we uh, how we go about trying to be faithful followers? Well, the song uh, today's song might be a little more obvious <laughs> than some are. And what it was for me when I picked it in Christ, there is no east or west. Bum, bum. In Christ there is no east or west, in him no south or north, B but one great fellowship of love throughout the whole wide earth. In Christ shall true hearts everywhere their high communion find. His service is the golden cord, close binding humankind. Join hands then, people of the faith, whate'er your race may be. All children of the living God are surely kin to me. In Christ now meet both east and west, in him meet south and north. All Christly souls are joined as one throughout the whole wide earth. Amen.